Your mother has spoken to me about the girl, Billy. Apparently, she was quite a bit beneath you. What would you speculate it was about her that frightened you so, Billy? I was in love with her. I can't do anything for you either, Billy. You know that. None of us can. The second a man goes to help somebody, he leaves himself wide open. A man's got to be cagey, Billy. You know that as much as anyone. What can I do? I can't stop you stuttering. I won't wipe the razor scars from your wrists or the cigarette burns from the back of your hands. I can't give you a new mother. And as for the nurse riding you like this, rubbing your nose and your weaknesses, taking away what little dignity you got till you shrivel up to nothing from humiliation, I can't do anything about that either. Hello. Uh, cheerful start. Um, to eight, another 3.30. Kingston Libraries book reviews. Hi. Hope you're all really, really well. Um, I'm once again brought to you by phone precariously balanced on a sloth Easter egg. Um, as you may have guessed from the extract um, that I tried to perform for you, or because you just read it up there, uh, I am reviewing the 1962 Ked Kesey novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Um, this is the only Kesey novel I've ever read, um, but I absolutely love it. It is one of my favourite books. Um, you might be seeing a theme of me just picking books I really, really like to promote to you. Um, so it's, uh, again, it's a bit of an older uh, novel compared to some of the other um, brilliant reviews done by my colleagues. Um, Kesey sort of fell between the beat and hippie period. Um, he's quite an interesting uh, American writer and essayist. Um Cookie's Nest is his biggest novel by quite a long shot um, and sort of uh, solidified in the public consciousness by uh, the movie done about a decade later featuring the wonderful Jack Nicholson. If you have not read the book, um, I highly, highly recommend it. I think it is a wonderful powerful novel. Um, Kesey got his idea for it uh, while volunteering in veteran hospitals and facilities. He also took psychoactive drugs for the government to sort of report what response that had on the human psychology. And through this, he, he sort of very much felt that uh, these patients of the day were very much being forced to be very docile and very pliant and he didn't agree with that he he very much was part of the 60s backlash against sort of drug, drugging your patients um rightly or wrongly i will say um the book thematically is very interesting it's kind of this idea between madness and sanity chaos and authority and it's done in a really, really interesting way, I think. Um, if you are familiar with the film, the biggest difference you're going to find is actually the entire book is from the chief's perspective. Uh, so Chief Bromart is a Native American inmate um, and it is entirely from his point of view, his perspective of the characters and how things are going on within the hospital. Our main two characters are Randall P. McMurphy, um, who sort of the representation of, of chaos, but also liberty. So McMurphy comes into the hospital. Basically, he has feigned madness. Um, he has feigned uh, in, in sanity to escape a charge and being sent to prison. And he sort of thinks it'll be a bit of a dos um, and a nice sort of cop out. Um, and he soon finds that he's completely wrong when he meets uh, Nurse Ratchet, who is very much uh, the... Uh, she's horrible, really. She's I think she's one of the greatest villains in history. Um, but she's, she's just very domineering, authoritarian. And she really rules that hospital with with a fist of iron um and she's sort of always picking on these individuals problems and and like the extra says riding their weaknesses um because she keeps them pliant that way um I'm trying so desperately to describe it i don't much like the fight that came in for the cold i don't want to give anything away i just want people to go out read it let me know what you think i think it is a beautiful and desperately painful and tragic novel as well so it's not the easiest of reads um 
it's certainly not something that's going to cheer you up I don't think but it is it is a fantastic book and I really really hope that if you do give it a go uh, on our e-audible and ebook services that you will really really enjoy it uh, do let me know in the comments below it's always a pleasure to hear everybody's opinions um, and uh, yeah hopefully speak to you all soon and review yet another book that I really really like <laughs> uh, take care happy reading and keep yourself safe bye